Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at a famous blue belt beast of a leathery goodness and that is the gold wrap. Now the gold wrap belt is a relatively simple belt but it is one of the few belts in the game that actually has magic find. Uh, for bonus points, I want you guys to tell me in the comments what other belt in the game also has magic find on it. I'm not giving it away. So, we <laughs> let's go over the gold wrap belt together and we'll talk about uh, what is good about this belt, what is bad about this belt, and uh, why you should be using it. Now, the gold wrap belt has a defense of 36 with a belt size of only plus 8. Now, this is a downside. As you can see, my Immortal King's belt has 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4, which is a 4 by 4 potion slot area. The gold wrap belt, unfortunately, only has a 3 by 4. Uh, which means that you cannot use as many potions uh, or hold as many potions with the gold wrap belt. And this is, uh, an unfortunately, a downside. But we will address this. We also have a uh, strength requirement of 45, which is relatively low, and a level requirement of only level 27, which is not bad. Um, it also has 10% increased attack speed on it. It is one of the few belts in the game that has increased attack speed. A lot of people don't think about the fact that Gold Ramp Belt has increased attack speed on it. Uh, they think about the Magic Find. They think about the Gold Find. Uh, you know, they think about the fact that it doesn't have enough potion slots. But very few people actually remember, hey, Gold Ramp Belt actually has an increase to your attack speed on it, which is freaking awesome. Um, it also has some other nice stats on it, uh, like, for instance, the uh, plus 25 defense, which is just a raw defense bonus. Uh, it also has the 60% uh, enhanced defense on it, which is uh, variable from 40 to 60. Um, it has a 80% uh, extra gold for monsters, which it does vary from 50 to 80. And it has 30% better chance of magic items, which does not vary. So every single gold uh, wrap that you, belt that you find is going to be... 30% magic find. Now, if you are a um, gold find barbarian and you're trying to get the highest amount of gold find that you possibly can, you're going to be looking for a perfect gold wrap, which would be 80% on the extra gold for monsters. Um, now, gold wrap can be upgraded, and this is one of the amazing things about it, is not only can it be upgraded once, but it can be upgraded twice. Uh, it can be upgraded once from a heavy belt into the... Um, God, I can't even remember the name of it. Uh, but we're going to need a Shelly Rune, and we're going to need a Tally Rune, and we're going to need a Perfect Diamond. Um, and this will upgrade it to the next tier. Get out of here, Destruction. This is not a video about you, sir. Bing, bing, bing. I have a video on Destruction on my website, my YouTube channel, if you want to see it. So the Gold Wrap uh, Heavy Belt, when upgraded, goes from 36 defense, 8 potion slots, 45 strength, level 27, to a Battle Belt, uh, 85 strength, or, or sorry, 85 defense, uh, 88 strength, and 32 level requirement, which is not bad on the level requirement. That's actually not bad at all. And, uh, and we go to 12 slots. So notice now we've got full potion slots by upgrading the belt. One of the best upgrades, honestly, in the game that you could possibly ever make, in my opinion, is just simply upgrading your gold wrap belt from tier 1 to tier 2. Now, I do not recommend upgrading your gold wrap belt to tier 3 because the tier 3 belt is extremely high. It is called the troll belt, and the troll belt has a lot of um, really high strength requirement and really high dex, or sorry, uh, level requirement. But for the purposes of this video, we are going to do it because I want you to see that it's a bad choice. Um, so we are going to take the, uh, the lem, the co, and the perfect diamond. And we are going to upgrade this. Now, granted, there are some characters that this might be a good choice for. If you're a character that has relatively high strength already, and you just want to get that extra, um, you know, a little bit of extra defense, like maybe you're a gold fine barbarian, and you already have relatively high strength because you're utilizing some specific piece of equipment that is crucial to your build, um, it might not be a big deal. So we're going to go from 85 defense, uh, 12 potion slots, 88 strength, and 32 level requirement to the Troll Belt, which is 124 defense, uh, 151 strength, and a level requirement of 74. So as you can see, a much, much higher level requirement, and the 151 strength is actually not 
too bad uh, because that's still right below the 156 strength requirement on the monarch. So if you were to be using a spirit monarch anyway, um, this actually could work. Uh, but granted, by upgrading this to the troll belt, you are completely removing any ability to use this on a lower level character. Um, so it's now going to be stuck at level 74 with... Uh, some pretty high requirements. Now, granted, gold wrap belts are not really that hard to come by that it's that big of a deal. Um, we're going to look at that right now. We're actually going to take a look at Silas Pen, and we're going to um, play around with the calculator. Um, but you know what? I usually don't do this, but let's bring the calculator up on the screen so you guys can see what I'm doing in the background, shall we? So this is the drop calc, and uh, the drop calc has um, places where you can put in various variables. So if we want to find gold wrap belt, we're going to look specifically for gold wrap. And uh, it's right here. Uh, we're going to put in our magic find amount right there, our player's count, uh, and various things like that. We're going to put in uh, the bosses, and um, we're going to hit find. I'm going to sort by probability here because I want to find the highest probability. And notice the little quest icon here uh, indicates quest kill. Um, so this probability is only for the quest kill of this particular monster. So the highest probability is really Diablo in normal difficulty with a uh, 1 in 310 chance. And Mephisto in hell difficulty with a 1 in 324 chance for some reason. Uh, but that's, that's quest. So uh, Bale in normal, uh, 1 in 333. Um, and, and Dariel in Nightmare, 1 in 365, so not bad. Let's take a look at Super Uniques. Again, we'll sort by probability. And uh, Nightmare Cow King apparently is top of the top of the hog here, as well as Hell Cow King is top of the hog. Uh, we also have uh, Neolithak in Normal Difficulty, uh, Neolithak in Nightmare, Summoner in Nightmare, Radamant in Nightmare, uh, and so forth and so on. And if we go by uh, regular monsters, we can get an idea of zones. So um, if we take a look at regular monsters, we've got um, not a lot of, uh, of specific zones. Let's, uh, let's see, Abaddon, Ancient Tunnels, Arcane Sanctuary... A lot in area plateau, uh, bloody foothills, canyon of the magi, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And as you can see here, um, if you were to do it by probability, you get a better idea of where the higher chances are. But you know, one in three hundred and one thousand four hundred twenty-nine is a pretty rare chance. Like, no matter what. Um, and if we we can also sort by difficulty, so we can go to normal. And um, I can go to the probability for normal monsters. So in normal difficulty, um, as you see here, uh, we've got a lot of like like Glacial Trail, Ancient's Way, uh, Infernal Pit, Pit of Acheron. A lot of this stuff is Act 5 normal difficulty. So it's pretty much all Act 5 normal difficulty is where you're going to find Gold Wrap. And then Nightmare difficulty is where you start to find it more uh, randomly with all the monsters. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And, uh, and if you're looking for a gold wrap, I do hope you find one. Uh, and as always, keep watching.